He did go to the bunker, though. The Secret Service recommended it. He didn't want to. The Secret Service said you need to go because the protesters are getting so violent. So did somebody, like, break into the White House? They were trying. So, uh, yeah, that's... I, I haven't seen any that's so peaceful. were trying. So why did the Secret Service make the decision then? I'm sorry, they that's didn't do I'm it because asking. their bongo drum was going kumbaya a little too No, loud. that's what I'm asking. I'm asking why the Secret Service did it. And I told you it's because they were getting violent. I'm sorry. And you could say, well, where's the... Yeah, dude, the footage of Antifa acting the way they've been acting for the last four months. Yeah, that, that there's your proof right there. Where's the proof that they've been violent? It's right there. You're saying Antifa. That's not all protesters. That's not like that's not the same thing. You can't just say it's that. enough of them. No, it's not. It's enough that's, of them. You only need a few to get violent. And yeah, you know, the Antifa folks. Violent. The minute they showed up to the protest, that's when things started to get violent. So he said. So you're saying I have the right to shoot nope. and move people nope. so I can walk? Nope. No, you don't. No, that's a silly question, and uh, that's just not a rational question to ask. So no, no, you don't. You're not the leader of the free world. You don't have the right to just do such things if you please. The leader of the free world does have the right to be secure when he moves to and fro. And no, you don't have the right to shoot anybody just so you can walk. That's just not the way anybody operates. That's what they're saying, though. They're saying that the president was shooting stuff, at, having people shoot stuff at people just so that he could walk. That's what he's saying. He's saying that everybody has the same right as the president to move and go as they please. Just the same. There's no specific right that the president has that everybody else doesn't have. Yet he's, he's the leader to of the free world. If he's going to move to and fro within our own nation, yes, he will move. People are in his way. I'm sorry. He's the president. He, he is a special case. I know he will. We're talking about whether or not he has the right. That's not the same thing. Uh, Chris said, wasn't kind the first, is. he said, wasn't the first excuse that came out of the White House was a tour of the bunker? Yes, that's exactly what they said. He said, yeah, they're going to say that for PR, of course. Yeah, but no, it, it was, he had to be moved because things are getting violent. And so, yeah, that's, that's not a good thing. That's not a good look. And then, so we're shocked, appalled that within a few days, these folks that actually caused people to have to seek shelter were then dispersed. You know, uh, the fact that it took as long as it did, yeah, that, that was some restraint. They got mad because they got fired on, so Trump had to go to the... Bu Ugh, Jesus. Uh, Project Sad Face, we love you. We love you so much. Thank you, Antifa and BLM... Oh, I thought it said Tom. I thought it said Tom. Antifa and Tom stand together. I was like, ha ha! Uh, like, like I said, like uh, BLM, the movement, you know, kids, take to the street, do what you got to do. One of the worst strategic moves that was ever made was allowing Antifa into the ranks because that's when things started taking a turn and that's when things started getting violent. They didn't allow them into the ranks. Stop saying that. They never allowed them into the ranks. You're right. They kind of elbowed, nudged their way in and forced their way in because Antifa never knows when they're not wanted. All right. Name one hey. Antifa member that is in the ranks of BLM. Uh, Antifa masks up, dude. Nice try. I know. I know. Right. We want to. Wait, wait, but see yeah, they, they intentionally try to hide their identities. Let's and they also make picture. sure that their leaders are not well known. Let's see a picture. Let's see so some sort of evidence that Antifa is in some sort of ranks. Because as far as I understand, BLM, the movement, does not have ranks. So what's uh, I would like to understand, because this mm -hmm. is the second yeah, time I've heard yeah. you say this. All right, if, if we're going to pretend that there's no Antifa ranks that have snuck their way into BLM, if you want to pretend that, that's fine. But everybody knows it. There are the signs that are there. Everybody can see it. We have our own two eyes. Now, Tom, I know, I know, you're saying, who are you going to believe? Me or your lying eyes? The evidence of your very own eyes cannot be believed. No, what's the evidence of your eyes? I want to know. The footage I, I... of the last six months, people getting their faces kicked in, businesses getting destroyed. That's the evidence, dude. We've all seen it. And are you really, are you really going to try and deny that Antifa has done no violence and they've been the perfect little boy scouts, the better angels of our nature? Oh, oh my goodness. That's not the same thing. You're changing the subject completely no, to say- not. 
Hold right on. Now, it's are. convenient to say that I'm changing stop, the stop, subject. Stop, 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 stop. Let me get a word in, okay? To keep on going on and on and on about how Antifa is in the ranks of BLM, but mm -hmm. then to yep. when I ask you where it is to say, are you saying Antifa hasn't been violent? What? That has nothing to do with whether or not. Well, you're saying they're not in the ranks. They're like BLM. they clearly are. They clearly are. You can even read their own propaganda. Antifa will, has done all they can to. I will invade. read. Yeah, I please do. Go to their official Twitter page. And yeah, they uh, actually do talk about, all right, there will be a BLM protest here. Definitely show up. And they, they've done a very good job of co-opting this protest. And it's very unfortunate because there was a really good chance to persuade a lot of people. And uh, Antifa, again, just didn't learn when they weren't wanted. I I don't I don't think anything you said equivocates Antifa having anything to do with BLM just because they So want you're denying that Antifa is out in the same rally. So you're denying that. No, I'm saying just because they're I literally just said just because they're walking in the same crowd does not mean that all of a sudden they're the same thing. That I literally just said that. And I've been saying this all day. Yeah, and they've co-opted the movement, dude. And that was one of the worst things that could have ever happened was BLM yeah. allowing Antifa to co-opt their movement. Yeah. And now their ability to persuade has been, like, it's certainly less than it was before. There was that high watermark where pretty much the whole country was on board. And then Antifa showed up. And that high water mark started rolling back. So now that I think we understand each other a little better, I think that, but that's, uh, that would be my overall point is, again, I, I know you say like, well, where's the proof? But uh, come on, man, we know what those folks wearing the masks are doing. Yes, I, I will agree that they have been able to change the narrative of what the BLM protest is supposed to be about by v being violent and co-opting like that. I will, I will agree with that 100%, whether or not they've moved their way into the ranks. That's where I, I will continue to disagree. But I, uh, your Osama said, Tom, I sent you four days straight of riots after our argument and they have not stopped for a single day. Again, that's not the same thing. These are not the same things. You guys are not, I don't know if I'm, I'm not relaying what I'm asking well enough. That wasn't but, true communism. It's not true Antifa. <laughs> I, no, again, I'm not denying that, that Antifa is out there. I'm not denying that there are rights. And that's what, when I, when I talked to him about whether or not, Antifa is an organized group or whether or not I say I am Antifa, I'm anti-fascist, whether or not that means that now I'm automatically included with another person that says they're Antifa and they're uh, anti-fascist, like we're not related just because we use the same label and he starts sending me videos of riots and stuff. And I'm saying like, okay, like, sure, there are more riots than, than there should be. Like violence is bad, like all of this stuff. Good. Like I, we're on the same page, but to say that because there's riots now, all of all protesting is bad. That's where I I'm having an issue. Co-opting a protest is not synonymous with collusion between movements. Um, uh, we have the right to riot and protest if we feel we are being treated badly. So we don't necessarily have the right to riot. As you, you beat me to it, good good on the draw there, Tom. Uh, I was uh, just about to say, you don't necessarily have a right to riot. Protest, yes, that's, uh, you know, it's protected in the First Amendment. And even without a First Amendment, you do have a fundamental human right to protest a bad condition against you. Uh, rioting is where you get a little, it, you know, and like, Tom, you were saying, like, we have the right to riot and protest. And uh, America was founded on a protest and a revolution. Uh, the American Revolution is one of those rare exceptions, not the rule. Almost every revolution in human history has resulted in far worse conditions for the people involved. Uh, the American Revolution was one of those few rare instances where you could say that objectively, measurably, life got better for the people that were involved in it. So it is one of those you have to ask, you know, this is a very big upheaval of everyone's life that people are considering when you talk revolution. So it, it, you do have to ask is, are the things that you're wanting to throw out, like the things we have, are they, you know, be, be understanding of what you're wanting to throw away before you make the decision, I suppose.